Hey everyone, today we are going to be using free web hosting to set up a WordPress website. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use infinityfree.net, so just head over to infinityfree.net and hit sign up now. We just need to enter an email address, set up a nice strong password, um, click these options to choose the palm trees here. Agree to the terms and sign up. We can save our password. And then we need to go to our email address and uh, verify. So I'll go ahead and do that. So after you've gone into your email and confirmed the link, you'll end up here and it will say your email address has been verified. You can now create your hosting account. So click new account. And we can create a free subdomain and on epizy.com or rfgd. I think I like epizy.com. Let's go uh, idea land. And or you can use your own domain. If you have a domain that you're not using, uh, you can go ahead and use that as well. But let's let's try idea land. Um, I'm not a robot. I need to identify the storefronts here. and create the account. So in a few minutes, it'll be ready and we can use it. So let's just wait a few minutes. So once it's set up, we can open our control panel and it's asking us to approve um, the changes to our service and that seems fine. Now let's load up the control panel. And here we go. It looks like a fairly standard control panel. So we, now we just need to install WordPress. So we need to find our script installer. So here we are, Softaculous Apps Installer. Click that. And this will load up our scripts that we can choose from. I've got WordPress right up the top here, so let's install it. Okay, to install WordPress, this all looks good. Um, we want to delete this directory, we want it to go straight into the root directory of Idealand. Um, the name and description we can leave for now. Let's set up a decent username and a decent password. Get something nice and strong. Set up your admin email to your own email. This is all fine. We can choose a theme now or we can do that later and just hit install. And save our username and password for later. So let's just wait for that to finish. And now we're all done. We can look at our our website here. Should just be a blank WordPress install. There we go. That looks fine. We can hit uh, our admin page here as well. So this is our normal WordPress admin area. That's really all there is to it. From here to set up your website, all you do is first you'd install your theme. I always recommend starting with Astra and using a starter site. So wait for that to load up and hit add new. And I'll want Astra. Hit install, wait for that to install. Once that's installed, hit activate. Hit get started. That'll start activating. Now we choose our page builder. I really like Elementor if we're using a free page builder. The free version of Elementor is, is pretty good.
Now we can choose any of these starter sites. So let's hit free and we can choose a free one. Um, I always like to start out with um, the outdoor adventure site. It's pretty easy to pretty easy to use. Just hit import site. So that'll take between two and 10 minutes. In this case, I took two minutes, 22 seconds. And now we can view our website. And here we go. We've got our starter website all installed. Um, we can go ahead and customize it here. Hit edit with Elementor and, and away you go. Um, I've got another video if you want to check out on how to actually do or the full customization of a WordPress website. But that's really all we need. So I'll put a link to my Astra starter site tutorial in the description and you can go ahead and, and continue to customize and work on your own WordPress site. Um, I should also talk about the actual hosting. The control panel is, is pretty decent for a free web host. You've got, uh, you can add your own domain. So rather than using this, um, subdomain on epizy.com you can add your own um, .com or .net whatever you like um, so it'll look the same as any other website if you do that um, you can add a um, SSL certificate to get your security uh, you could you can run Cloudflare on here as well to speed things up and add another layer of security so it has most of the features that you would get uh, even if you bought a web host so this is a nice way to to get started and learn um i ran a speed test on it and it, it's it got an a plus um it's not that fast in in sydney but across uh europe and the united states it's really fast uh sydney is still decent 300 milliseconds is not it's not terrible and in terms of reliability uh in in may it hasn't had any downtime let's have a look at april um April 99.6% uptime. So that means it's had three or four hours of downtime. So on the 19th, yeah, it had three or four hours down and there were a few minutes here and there. So it's not it's not perfectly reliable, but it's it's free. So what can you expect? Uh, it's decently fast. And the other thing you can go is to have a look at your client area and... This is where you've got your username and your password. So you'll need those if you want to log back into your control panel. Um, but that's really about it. Um, go ahead, check out the um, Astra starter site tutorial and, and learn how to use WordPress with these starter sites because it's really quick. You'll get a beautiful website um, in, in no time at all. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.